So I, I think it's uh, time to conclude this uh, workshop, and I, I hope you enjoyed it. I think I enjoyed it. I think we, we uh, through the various talks, we had a rather broad review of interesting topics in quantum information science in general. We had talks about uh, quantum gates and quantum computing. We had the talk about uh, integrated optics and which can be connected to quantum information through uh, the different remarks that uh, Arnaud just made. We had some talk on quantum simulation uh, with uh, Jean-Michel's talk and to some extent with what uh, uh, Christophe Salomon talked to us about because his system is a, kind, is a simulator of things which happen with strongly confined uh, fermions in other contexts uh, and which cannot be computed from what I understand from, from first principles. And uh, we had also, uh, who else talked? I think, yeah, we had, we had the quantum computation, we had quantum, simula quantum simulators, and we had some fundamental ideas, fundamental issues about decoherence and, and the complexity of entanglement, which is connected to all the other issues we have been uh, uh, dealing with. Uh, of course, there are some topics which were missing. We didn't have much about uh, solid state uh, quantum computing, but we discussed this during the round table and we made some comments about the connection uh, between uh, the ad advantages and drawbacks of atom-based uh, uh, in quantum information and solid state basis qu based quantum information. And more broadly, during the uh, uh, round table, we discussed about the possible various possible applications of all this. Uh, commenting about the fact that some of these advances would be very important for basic science, all the kind of improvement you, you, you can have in metrology uh, could be helpful for the measurements of gravitational waves or for the improvement of atomic clocks and uh, for relativity tests, for instance. So this physics is at the interface between uh, basic science and possibly applied, applied physics in the future. So I hope that you will keep all this and uh, coming back to your own research, you will uh, be able to use what you have learned here to broaden your interest and maybe for some of you to get into, into this field uh, now or later. I would like to conclude by thanking uh, the people who have made this possible. The first to thank the speakers who have traveled for, from very far away to give these talks, uh, to thank the Institute of Advanced Studies in, in CTU has organized everything and, and to thank the people who have organized and uh, which have been, who have been made this possible. I would like to thank Joy particularly. Could you please come here?